It's probably been a while since I've done a video regarding Trey Songs, And, of course, the last time I talked about Trey Songs, it was because he had this alleged violation. It's, at this point, it is alleged because, well, let me give you a little overview. It's been a while since I've done a video surrounding around Trey Songs, And the last time I talked about him, it was that this case of alleged violation was brought up against him from something that happened a, a few years ago in which this person was trying to go after him and take money. When I saw that, I said to myself, then I said, this is probably going to go absolutely nowhere. As a matter of fact, if I can retrieve that video or the last video that I did about Trey Songs, I'll probably link it down into the comments or pin it in the comments or in the description and you can go and watch it for yourself for those of you who were not around when i did that commentary and i said this is not going to go nowhere because the statute of limitations is up and this person is going after money and a lot of it and it's not going to move and and as a matter of fact this is not the first time they've gone after trey songs for these allegations and before this time there was another person and the same thing happened then the case ended up getting dropped because of some other issues or it wasn't enough evidence or proof to back up the claim of this woman that Trey Songs had violated her in some way. And now fast forward to what most recently just came out. The alleged suit of violation against him has been dismissed because the statute of limitations ran out. I've always said that if someone does something like this to you, this, this commits this violent act against you, why are you waiting so long to say something? And and on top of that, why are you going after money and a lot of money at that? I believe this person was going after t for twenty million dollars. It, it it causes people not to take you seriously or this case. If you one way too long or two are going after a whole bunch of money. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from this website called pitchfork.com. It was posted November 2nd, 2022. It says Trey Songs is no longer facing a lawsuit that accused him of violations. TMZ reports when reached by Pitchfork Songs attorney Random Randall M. Awad confirmed that the case has been dismissed. The complaint was initially filed in February by a woman identified as Jane Doe, who claimed that the R&B singer assaulted her in 2016. Songs denied her accusations, and the suit was dismissed in July before being refiled with the same allegations. Now, keep in mind, this was in 2016. We are now in 2022, so we're talking about six years later. According to court documents viewed by the Pitchfork, Song's legal team successfully argued that the statute of limitations for her for the woman's claims expired in 2018. So that was four years ago, resulting in the suit's dismissal. Pitchfork has reached out to Jane's Doe attorney for comment and additional information. And I'm glad that I, 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 I remember that, too, when they mentioned attorney. If y'all don't remember, I believe it was Trey Songs, and I think I talked about this, wasn't it? The attorney for the defendant, not the defendant, because he's a defendant, the attorney for the plaintiff that had met with some woman or some woman had met with her and she was trying to uh, convince, not convince her, trying to bribe her with something to give up some false information to help the case move along in order for them to ensure a win against Trey Songs because they didn't have a strong enough case. I think I talked about that, too in my previous video and when i heard about that i said why is no one bringing this up i said it sounds to me like this attorney for the for the plaintiff against the defendant trey songs is very shady and that did not get as much traction as it should have it's all coming back to me now i remember that because i think that they met at a bar or something like that and the, the this person who I think remained anonymous. I don't know if they, you know what? I think they did give her name, but I forgot her name. Had basically went and told them and said, look, this is the attorney for so-and-so against Trey Song. She tried to bribe me or try to convince me to give up some, to give up some information for uh, some money that was false to try to him Trey Songs up because she doesn't have a strong case. I remember it now. I think that was the last thing I talked about uh, concerning this. And now we fast forward and we have this situation right here where it says the statute of limitations was up. 
So if this happened back in 2016 when she alleges this happened, that means she had two years to say something and she didn't. Here we are six years out from the initial quote unquote incident that now looks like it probably didn't take place. And she was trying to get money. That's really all it was. Her and her attorney, as far as I'm concerned, are shady as hell. And no, her attorney was not Gloria Allred. I know, shock and surprise, right? Nor was it her daughter, Lisa Bloom Doom. Or Lisa Doom Bloom, however you want to put it. But yeah, I remember it now. I remember that situation right there. I was like, wow, the lengths that people will go in order to extort, because in my opinion, that was trying to, they were trying to extort money uh, out of him. And here we are, and again, they couldn't get him. This is like the second time, and it completely falls flat. So now that we know the statute limitations are up, this person can't go again. But Trey Songs better watch his back in the company that he keeps, because it's probably going to be somebody else out there that's going to try something with him recently. And then they're going to learn from this. And they're going to try to go for it all. That's all I can really say.